What are you going to do? Got no hey, we we, we uh, run out of guys. You know, Jose goes down. LK goes down. Um, Amir's got a bad back. But again, it's it's the NBA, and we got to go play with who we have out there. I thought our guys battled as long as they could until we just were decimated. Um, and uh, again, Philly's a heck of a team, uh, one of the top defensive teams in the league, and they turned up the juice <clears throat> in the fourth quarter. And um, But tonight was one of the first few nights we just gave in in the paint. I mean, we, they, we gave up 58 points in the paint, uh, one for 10 from, from the three. But I thought just the paint game is what really hurt us. We just didn't have any resistance. And again, it, it comes at the point of the ball. You got to really contain the ball. And I thought their guards did a good job of really getting into our paint, causing problems, uh, causing guys to help, and finding an open man. How tough is it to zero in on a team that goes nine deep the way they do? It's very difficult. They, they've got a well put together team. Uh, you know, they're built for the playoffs. They, they're, you know, we got some rugged big guys in the paint. The kid Vujic is a really solid, solid NBA center. Elton Brand's been around, Iguodala's been around, and their guards are solid. <coughs> their guards are solid. And then when you have a guy like Lou Williams coming off the bench, it's really, you know, a, a solid team. But uh, again, I'll, like I told our guys, one thing we're looking for is fight going down the stretch. You know, scrapping and fighting. And I didn't see that once Philly hit us, I thought it knocked us back and we really didn't bounce back. And, and have any swing left, uh, you know, 30 to 18 in the fourth quarter, and it was a lot bigger than that there for a long time. So uh, we got to get healthy. We got to get as many healthy body, bodies as possible. Uh, we'll, you know, I think uh, Andrea has the diagnostic testing tomorrow, and so uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, very uh, you, you couldn't go back to Jose, or he was just no. Bad. He had the stitches right above where his uh, ba other bad spot was, so he's going to look like Rocky if, whether he wants to or not. And uh, you know, he's you know, Jose is giving it to us. You know, he, he you know, he, he just you know, I just didn't want to put him back in there and, and risk that again. He probably could have, but the lead had gotten so big by the time he got back. Um, I didn't want to you know risk him for that. And, and then Dentman came in and did what he could do. Uh, again, he's still learning our defensive system, keeping the ball in front of him. And uh, again, it was, it was, we were overmatched. Early in the season, your, your concerns with James was him trying to do too much, some fancy stuff. He calmed down in the middle of the season. Are you seeing a regression to that? Yeah, I, I, I thought he was pressing a little bit. I thought he was trying to get his groove going, uh, get back in the flow of things. And, and in turn, I don't think it was anything selfish or malicious. It was just trying to do too much, trying to help the team. And uh, everybody's collapsing in on him. He's playing in the crowd. And, um, you know, and he was out those two games, lost his rhythm a little bit. And now he's pressing to get back. What he's got to do is let the game come to him. That's where he had gotten to, is allowing the game come to him. He made a couple of uh, three-point shots. But uh, his deal is, you know, keep attacking the basket. And I thought he did a good job of that once he did settle down. But everybody, I thought, tried to do too much. When one guy went out, somebody else tried to do something. You know, everybody tried to maybe do a little bit too much for their role and uh, got us out of whack. How important is it for Ed's development to be able to string together a strong game like he has? He did. He 13-13 double-double. That was big for him. Um, you know, he, he did a good job making his free throws. He's three for four from the free throw line. And uh, I was really happy for Ed and his, his, his push. Like you said, he's putting a, a string of games together. Uh, again, our young guys, number one thing, like I said this morning, is getting in the weight room strength. Um, but uh, I'm really happy for Eddie that he's coming out and stringing some numbers together uh, consecutively and being consistent with, and that's huge.